Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, welcome. My name is Jarelle. Today we're going to be doing another look using the Love Palette by Natasha Denona. I am going to be mainly focusing on the purple as well as this silver right here, and I think I have like a halo eye kind of look in mind, so that is what we're going to be doing today. So let's go ahead and get into the video, but before we do, like you already know, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel if you have not already you can also click on the little bell so you can get notified whenever I upload a new video which is every single week and without further ado let's get on to the video <laughs> all right guys so as you can see like my hair is back I blow dried my hair yesterday and it feels super super soft so it actually falls down in my face and I cannot have that because it really truly drives me crazy that's why I mostly have my hair up either in a ponytail, in a bun, a braid, or something. Um, I do enjoy my long hair, but not on my face. All right, so I am going to use my Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow primer, and this one is something that I have been using for a little while now, and I do like it, but I think I prefer my P. Louise base a little bit more. I don't know why, maybe it's just the color that is not so, 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 so white. I, I do like this one for sure, uh, but I am going to go back to my P. Louise and just compare those two since it's been a little while since I actually used my P. Louise. Or I'm going to give you my thoughts whether you should get this one or the P. Louise one. This one is really, really white and one of my subscribers did point it out that it doesn't work for her skin tone because it is super, super bright. So I totally understand P. Louise does have like different bases and different tones as well, which is amazing. One, The one that I use is in base i think it's the second one or the number two one and see which one of the two it really stands out to me because you don't really need two eyeshadow primers and if you already have an eyeshadow primer or if you use your concealer that is totally okay as well so all right so i'm bringing you in a little bit closer so you guys can actually see what i'm doing um i already prepped my skin by the way and I am going to be having a video on what I use to prep my skin today. It's really random, so I do have a lot of skincare and I actually change it, um, you know, every so often. So if you are interested in knowing how I prep my skin, you can go ahead and follow me on Jarell underscore Mata, which is my Instagram account, and it is linked down in the description area just in case you are interested. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started with the eyes. So I am going to be using Valentine right here. Here just to start the process of creating that halo eye and I'm going to be using this shade on a fluffy brush and I'm going to really focus that like in a rounder shape and just creating that rounder shape as well as here in the inner corner and you don't think that they're actually going to like be super pigmented, but you can really build this shade up really, really intensified as you can see. And it's kind of crazy because it do, it does look so soft on on the pan. So you just want to grab a little bit and just build it up to your liking. All right, so once you have something just like this, we're gonna go in with a smaller brush, and this one is the Sigma E25 brush. And I'm going to take this dream shade right here and start packing that color in the outer corner. And once again, creating that rounded shape. Now using a, the Sigma E27 brush, I am going to go back to Valentine and because this is a little tighter of a space that we have right here, I want to take a smaller brush so we can blend that purple and that pink together. And continue on building this shade. 
the dream shade to your liking. All right, guys, now using the shade Commitment right here with a Morphe M18 brush, I am going to take this shade and I am taking it really in the inner corner as well as in the outer corner, but really just creating a little bit of depth. I don't want it to be too, 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 too dark. So just adding a little bit of that shade and barely touching your lid. All right, now using the same brush, I am going back with the shade Dream and just adding those the shade on the edges of Commitment. Just like that, and now going back with Valentine and blending everything one more time before we apply the center shade. Once you have something like this, I am going to start adding the shade at blind right in the middle. And let's see how it works with a brush. So it, it looks pigmented. So let's go ahead and just put it right in the center and just bring it all the way up. So with the back of the brush that there's no product, you just wanna start blending the edges and meshing those two colors together very, very softly. That's why I grabbed my brush from the bottom right here so you can actually blend and blend it really softly like just Flickering the brush back and forth. Now going back with the fluffy brush and the shade Dream. I'm just going to start adding the color back right between the silver and the other shades. Just to make sure that everything is nice and blended. So I'm just gonna take my my finger and really pack that shade. All right guys, so I already have a little bit of foundation. I'm going to be using this Alamar Cosmetics brushes that I got on my BoxyCharm, just like I did the last time because I do wanna test them out and to see if they're even worth it. Um, I did wash them yesterday and this one, the little hairs are coming out, but this is the bronzer brush, but I actually like the way that it applied my, my foundation the last time, so. I'm just going to be dabbing it. I didn't use any um, primer or anything like that because I did prep my skin really, really well. Um, and I did use this moisturizer that is like a double duty from Tarte, which is right here. And it's like a primer and moisturizer in one. And I really like that. So I'm doing my foundation first before my brows just because it tends to get a little bit of red on this area right here. And it's really hard for me to like actually clean it up after I do my brows, like for the foundation to be really nice and neat. So I'm trying to change my routine up. But do you see how like fast it just blended and it doesn't leave my skin any streaks or anything, which I like because sometimes brushes can do that and I do not like that at all. So I am going to apply a little bit more in the back of my hand of the foundation and just apply it where I feel like I need a little bit more coverage, which is usually where I have a little bit like marks. I don't know if the camera is picking it up, but I do have like some sun damage on my skin and H spots as well. So I like to bring my foundation and I know a lot of you forget this, especially if you're new in makeup. This is definitely something that it's already part of your routine, but if you're new in makeup, you wanna definitely bring your foundation down because you will leave a line like, tch, and it does not look pretty at all. So just make sure that you're bringing your foundation down. 
So I'm using the NARS foundation, by the way, and this one is in the shade Barcelona, and it is the Natural Radiance Longwear Foundation. This foundation makes your skin look so flawless. Oh, yes. It looks so pretty, guys. Like, I love this foundation. It's so, so nice. So the concealer that I've been using is this one right here, the one that I'm putting on. This is the Dust of Colors Meet Your Hue Concealer, and it is in the shade 14. I love this concealer so much. I think it is so perfect. So you really just need a little bit. I did put a lot here. Um, I'm trying to spread it out. And I like to, so I do have lines, like dark lines around my mouth. And it's just like the, my pigmentation in my skin is darker right here so I like to correct that and that's why I always put concealer around my mouth and a little bit on my chin just to brighten it up again so I'm going to start blending out the concealer and just using the same brush and then once it's blended out I'm going to use my sponge just to really dab it in and make sure that your sponge is really not soaking wet because it will pull your foundation I do have to work a little fast with this concealer compared to my other concealers that I have, but it really is a really nice concealer. And just going back around my eyes with the same shape as I'm trying to do, which is a round shape. The foundation concealer is looking so good right now. And as you can see, like the eyes are already like really popping. So sometimes I do use my Fenty stick just to add a little bit of cream bronzer. Alright guys, so now that everything is nice and blended, I am going to set everything into place using my Laura Mercier translucent powder. And I like to put a little bit on the cap and whatever I don't use, I just throw it away. I don't want to contaminate the rest of my powder, of course. So I am going to be using my sponge to do that, but let me just blend my concealer one more time before I set everything into place. I love this step because the powder makes everything, like all of my pores disappear, which I love so much. All right, so I'm just going to let the powder be for a little bit. I am going to move on to brows and I'm going to be using the Fenty Beauty Brow MVP and I do have mine in the shade of black brown and I actually have been enjoying this one a lot I like the way it applies the brows. It's not too creamy Where it's just sliding um, But it is creamy enough to move it around of course But it's just super nice and I do really like the color because it does not pull red everything pulls so red on me all the time but this one does not it really stays super nice and neutral and I really enjoy that so I start with the bottom part first and then pull the tail out and now I'm just focusing in the outer tail of the brow and really making sure that there's no gaps and just like really light strokes, nothing too crazy. So just creating that line on the front and then switch my hand to start flicking up. And creating those fake hairs on the front. Not too much pressure. 
All right, so now creating one brow is like super easy because you just create it, you create the arch, especially when it's like your good brow and it just, you know, goes so smooth and everything is like super perfect. But creating the other one, now that's the struggle. You wanted to make sure that it actually looks similar to the other one. Of course, it's not gonna look the same because your eyes are not the same, but yeah. Now the other brow product that I have been truly enjoying and loving, especially to create like the really fluffiness kind of brow that is in style that I don't have, as you can see, is this one. This is the Shape and Shade Brow Tint by MAC. And I'm barely touching my brow, by the way. Uh, I mostly focus this in the part where I really had to build some color which is down here and on my tail so I just put it pretty much everywhere in random spaces especially where I see like ball spots just like that and then what I do is go back with the pencil and like always just going back and forth with these two products and just make sure that there's no gaps and blending everything together all right so as you can see one brow now let's work on the other one all right guys so we did it of course they are not super twins or maybe sisters but they are totally related right <laughs> i hope so so let's go ahead and finish the lower lash together and then i will do my lashes off camera because the struggle is definitely real and then we finish up with the face and the lips what am i going to do with the lips i have no idea yet i'm still thinking about it that is always something that i like just want to do nudes and i know that you guys are probably so tired of doing of seeing me do my nudes but that is just what i like to do so let's go ahead and finish up with the lower lashes like i've mentioned so i'm going to do the exact same thing that i did up on my lid um on my lower lashes so we're going to start with a dream and this time because we already have our foundation on and everything you want to make sure that you are tapping the excess of the brush because you don't want to have any fallout so I'm just going to really build that shade and in here as well so do the other eye of course so I'm pushing it really low because you get to see what you are doing or all the work that you've done actually because once you put mascara um, if you really put it like super close to your lower lashes you're not gonna be able to see it so I'm pushing it low but not too low and this is a pencil brush by Sigma the E30 brush now going back with the Sigma E27 this is super like I don't know if you can see it, but it's super nice and pointy. So going back with Valentine. So just making sure that those edges are really nice and blended and just connecting everything that you did up here to your lower lashes, of course. Going back with the Morphe brush, this is the E18. I'm just going to grab a little bit and really add it to the lower lashes, like super close to my lower lashes. All right, now using this Makeup Forever pencil, this is the Artist Color Pencil in the shade Versatile Violet 902, just in case you are interested. I am going to be putting this one on my waterline but like in the outer corner and on the inner corner. And a little bit on my tight line as well. Go in with the pencil brush and the color blind, which is the silver shade. I'm going to start really pressing that color in the middle blend one more time with valentine all right let's go ahead and put some mascara in lashes and i'll be right back 
All right, guys, so I went ahead and applied these lashes right here by Kiss, and these are the blowout lashes. Um, I don't know if they're new. It does say that it's new, but I'm pretty sure that I bought this ones a long time ago, and I just decided to wear them. Um, one, because the band is, like, super flexible and super thin, so I can really, really hide them. And also, I just wanted something super light. I didn't want it to be too bold and where we are covering everything that we have done. So now that that is done, I'm going to bronze my face and I'm going to be using my Benefit Hula Bronzer. I have been really loving this bronzer for a little while now. And I didn't think that I could actually like this bronzer so much just because I never got into the hype. It glides on the skin so beautiful and it doesn't it's not patchy and I think I think that's why I love it so much and it's like super matte and just gorgeous so if you're like me and you never got into the hype of this bronzer definitely give it a go because it is really truly beautiful a little nose contour so I have a bump right here and I've been trying so many different ways to hide it, but I am not the best at, at nose contouring. But you know, one can really try, right? So just adding a little bit of powder to the size of my nose. All right, now using my Burt's Bees blush in the shade Shy Pink, I'm going to add a little bit of this to the apples of my cheeks and moving it back. So just make sure that you're blending those two products together. All right, now using the Fursali Spray. All right, now moving on to the Flash Palette by Jacqueline Hill Cosmetics. This is a really nice, beautiful um, palette, highlighting palette, and I have been really enjoying it. I am going to put a little bit of ice on my skin just to warm it up a little bit. This is like a peachy shade, and as you can see, it's super blinding. I'm using the Morphe M510. Super intense right now, and then the camera is actually picking it up even more. So I'm just going to use my sponge to blend it. All right, for lips, I'm just going to use this same lip liner that I used in my last tutorial. This is the Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencil in the shade Up and Down Tan, and I'm going to line my whole entire lips with this shade. Um, just because the highlighter was a little bit too intense for my liking right now, I went ahead and added this right here, which is the Bloom Palette by Natasha Denona, and it's the Blush and Glow. I added a little bit of this one right here to the top of my cheeks, and I used a really nice fluffy brush, and then I went ahead and added this peachy shade right here just to give me a little bit more warmth. Yes, I do have a lot of glow right now. Um, obviously, you can totally avoid and skip this step all together but I just wanted to fix it just because I think it was a little bit too white um, and I think it actually looks so pretty and so 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 much better so I added uh, the lips the lip liner all over my lips and now I'm going to be using the moth lip gloss by Natasha Denona and just in the center of my lips So what I'm going to do with the eyes, just because I feel like it's missing an inner corner, I'm going to go back with the peachy shade right here from the Bloom palette. And I'm going to add that to the inner corner. All 
and that looks so so pretty so yeah so yeah that's it for the look So yeah guys, that's it for the look using the Natasha Denona Love Palette. I think that this palette is so beautiful. I am really enjoying this palette a lot. So I'm really happy that I actually picked it up because I didn't think I was going to like it as much as I am liking it just because I am not into purples. I know, believe it or not, I'm not into like the purple pink kind of shades for me, but I do enjoy the quality of the eyeshadows as well as how they blend and just the looks that you can actually create with this palette. So I do enjoy that very much. So yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for being here. I hope that this was helpful. If you have any questions or any comments, please leave them in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for being here and spending this time with me. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel if you have not already, and I will see you next time.